November, December, you eat a lot for the holidays. So in those three months, I gained about 12 pounds. You know, we call that in my family, food baby. <laughs> you, got, you got a little food baby growing there on the holidays. I like that. So in January, I made a concerted effort to eat better, juice, buy vegetables, eat more fruit. And in, even in February, I gave up alcohol. And I'm still oh. feeling bloated. I haven't seen any weight loss, and I don't know what else to do. So you're buying fruits, vegetables, you're eating yes. like a rabbit, you gave up cocktail hours. Yes. <laughs> so not only are you a little bummed out, but you're cranky too, because yes. you can't have a cocktail. <laughs> and boring. <laughs> and Dr. Ian, I mean, we're joking around with this, but everybody feels like this. We work out, we exercise, we try and eat right, we go to the grocery store, we're eating tons of kale, superfoods, we're popping berries and flax seeds, <laughs> like they're going out of style. <laughs> and the numbers don't seem to change dramatically on the scale. This is common, right? This is so common because so many people say, I'm, I know how to do better, right? right. Because they've yes. heard all the shows, they've read everything. Yes. I know how to do better, so I'm going to check out the bad stuff and get the good stuff. The problem is what we typically think is healthy because of the way it's labeled is not always the healthiest of things. So, you know, sometimes in order to make things healthy, when you see the word diet, or sugar-free or fat-free, that's your first sign to be cautious. <laughs> you and I have discussed this before. They could be very misleading. If they're taking out all of something like fat, chances are they're adding a lot of something like sugar, right? Listen, if you take the flavor out of fat, you gotta put flavor in somewhere, how do you do it in sugar? And vice versa, it happens right. all the time. Or they put all these kind of chemicals in there, and those chemicals, unfortunately, slow weight loss. So okay. your issues are common. Don't be upset about it. You're and they're easy fixes. Trapped. You're being booby trapped. <laughs> right? Yes. Right. But, but the good point is that you're on the right road, meaning you're trying to do healthy. That's the first part we always say, right? You got to get in the game in order to try to win it. I'm in it. You're in so it. So this is legitimately, yeah. I mean, we relabel them for television, but these are legitimately your groceries. Yes. Dr. Ian, why don't you walk us through okay, her cart? Okay, so I'm going to walk through. You're going to be our bagger. Okay. Up Let me here. put my tea down. We got our conveyor belt going the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about the car. I mean, the conveyor belts. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hold, Hold, please. Please. Hold, please. Hold, <laughs> please. We walked through. This is going the wrong direction. It worked great. <laughs> it's it so <laughs> Now it's going right. Show off. <laughs> God, I feel Isn't stupid. TV great? I love TV. <laughs> Um, right. Okay, so we have our conveyor belt here. We have this going. Okay. okay. Love fruit, right, guys? Yes. Jeez. Love fruit. Wonderful. Blueberries, strawberries. Melon. That's a lot of fruit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, here's an issue. Not okay. melons. Not melons, <laughs> she says. Here's the issue. Melons are good and tasty, and yes, they're fruit. We're always saying have more fruit. But when you're trying to lose weight and trying to make your best choices, Watermelons and honeydew melons are high in what's called the glycemic index. Wow. What that means is the blood sugars will spike and your insulin levels will spike. And that spike is the opposite of what you want to happen when it comes to trying to lose weight. Oh. So I didn't have any idea about melon. Me yeah, so what I say I is take the melon them. and ditch it. <laughs> But just double up on the on the berries full of antioxidants and is fiber. Is that true of cantaloupe too? All melons? Can the cantaloupe. Whole cantaloupe world. The whole cantaloupe melon world, yes. High in glycemic index. Right. Wow. So what? go go with the berries. Higher That's in sorry. protein. If you want to eat fiber. a little bit of it. <laughs> you just you get said to you the weight you want. want. That's right. You just okay. said, okay, that you were having problems. So yes. here we go. Okay. Don't whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we stopped right away. Wow. Right off the top, we just started again. Okay, now. Three things that look great on here. Yes. Multigrain. Yes. Wheat. Yep. And thin. thin. We like those three things. My mother buys these type of products all the time. Okay. Thin bagels, thin breads, all that. Okay, mom, pay attention. First of all, multigrain. Multigrain, multi, the word means what? Many. Right. Yes. It does not mean whole grain. It means that there are many grains, and these grains can be refined or smashed or processed. So that could still be processed flour. 1,000%. And I, yeah, you better believe it. And if you look in the back, <sighs> it says enriched, enriched wheat flour, which means they processed it and then tried to enrich it by putting some of the good things back. Processing takes the good things out. Enriching tries to put some of it back. You say, why would you even do that? Well, it's all about the texture, right? When you, right. When you, when you refine grains, you get a nice texture. Now remember, the grains has three parts the bran, the endosperm, and the germ. Okay. 
And you want to make sure all three are in there. So you look for things that say 100% whole grain. Okay. Or it must say 100% whole wheat. And by the way, don't be fooled by the thin. The thin has nothing to do with the calorie count. Okay. The thin it is out of scope. It ain't gonna make you thin. And by the way, <laughs> and by the way, very high in sodium. Ditch it. <laughs>